Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Uh, uh, uh. What the heck is that? It's gotta. Oh! <gasps> oh, I don't wanna do this! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Green Paradise. Should we be calling it that? Because it feels like that's the case right now. We found this perfect little oasis in this crazy game and uh, today we're going to continue building our base site and trying to uh, increase our chances of survival here because it's not easy to survive in a jungle. Now the biggest things I want to do today, let's actually, I, I want to see if that obsidian respawns because uh, we found an obsidian stone somewhere up here in the last episode. Extremely lucky by the way, I'm going to make a spear out of that because that's one of the best weapons you can use to fight. Is that... Okay, I thought that was Obsidian. I got really excited there. Oh my god! Okay, so it does respawn. I feel like this is extremely cheap, but that means we're going to get some Obsidian weapons as well as tools, and that is extremely important. Uh, now, a lot of you guys suggested that I actually move my camp over here because uh, basically we'll be safe out of the rain. I might just move my fire over here later on because that's actually a really good idea. That way we don't run the risk of losing fire in the rain. It does rain a lot in the jungle, obviously. So today is going to be all about expanding out our chances of survival here. This game is extremely difficult. At any chance, we definitely will die. I'm not saying we're safe right now, but we do have a pretty good baseline. Uh, I want to explore the uh, ocean. The ocean, oh my god. The river today, see what we can find over here in terms of plants and everything. Uh, we'll probably end up doing that now. I also really need to find bandages. If we go to our book here, we need that Malernia, was it called? That's the only thing... Yeah, Malernia, that's the only thing that currently makes bandages in this game. Uh, I guess banana leaves are supposed to, or it's in the works. But unfortunately right now, it's very hard to find bandages. So that's going to be a big goal of mine. Let's actually gear up here. I'm going to keep some stuff at the base because I feel like... It's just better. Uh, this fruit's spoiled. Now, it's not bad to have spoiled fruit. We can actually get bugs off of that, so I'm just going to keep that here let it chill for a little bit. How are we doing, actually? For Oh, I didn't mean to eat that, but that's alright. It's only one little thing. And we're doing rather good for our vitals right now, as you can see. So we have this macaw meat. I just, I'll just keep this with me. Uh, in terms of storage, we're just going to kind of uh, organize this a little bit. So... The actual storage in this game is pretty cool because you actually do run out of space. So we have to kind of stack everything, make sure everything's good here, and uh, yeah, make sure our storage is more than fine. So we got tobacco leaves, small leaf piles. Those are going to make tinder soon or dry leaves. Um, that's really, really good. Okay, and this should be pretty much enough storage for what we find. Now I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to go into the water here. I don't know if this is going to make hypothermia or if stingrays can indeed uh, hit me. One of you guys suggested that I go check out the waterfall to see if the drinking water is safe over there. So I'm actually going to go do that. Looks like it's rather blue. Still, unfortunately, unsafe. Hold the drink. Yeah, I am not going to drink unsafe water. That's the last thing I want to do. But I do want to look around here for any type of equipment that we can possibly get. So what do I got in my inventory right now? I do have an axe. I'll keep my axe out. I feel like that's probably the smartest. We also have our bow, so we do have a launch long-range attack. So it looks like, unfortunately, it just dies over here. An unknown nut. I will take an unknown nut. Is this quicksand? Okay, I swear I was falling into the ground there. That was really, really weird. Um, so yeah, we did find an unknown nut, at least, you know? It's a good day when you get an unknown nut. I was hoping we could extract these lily pads or something. Actually, there's, uh, oh! Water lily flowers! Okay, so we can take the water lily flower. Now we're gonna go... Oh yeah, we didn't go down this way, so... I don't know what these things are used for. We'll just take three for right now. We can always grab more if we do need it. Looks like we did survive the stingray, so that's good. Can we climb this? Oh, we can indeed climb that. That's perfect. Okay, so that's another place to explore. Uh, just going to keep going down here. I'm very fast at running through the water, by the way. That's impressive. All right, nothing there that was of interest. Do we have fish down here? I don't think there is any more fish. More water lilies. Uh, I think this is officially the dead end, but this is a very safe place. That's the one thing I'm realizing. It's a dead end that I can run to if I do need to and kind of hold this place out. Uh, looks like the only thing we got in the water, though, that's new is water lilies. So we're going to have to figure out what we can do with those. Um, obviously plants are good to have. It could be for medicinal purposes, and I'm hoping it is. I do have a leech on me, so I've got to deal with that. Let's actually go do that right now, because you guys let me know I can rotate my arms! I, uh, didn't actually know that, so let's go and inspect. 
and figure out where the hell this little jerk is. So yeah, you can actually rotate your arms in here to look around. Uh, must be on my legs. That would make sense. That's what was in the water. I don't see him. It's got to be on this one. Oh yeah, there he is, sticking to me. I really wish you could keep these things, because don't you use leeches to, like, uh, keep wounds sanitary? Well, they did back in the day. I doubt they do that anymore, but uh, I feel like you should be able to use those. Okay, so we're done in here. We've learned that uh, the only thing in there is water lilies and lots and lots of fish, so that's good at least. Uh, how are we doing for water, actually? Uh, one thing else I want to do today is learn how to make stew. So is this, this is actually a full b bowl of water. So what if we, do we have to craft this? If we craft it and then put the meat in here as well. Wait, do I, maybe I have to craft. Uh, I wonder if I have to slice up the meat. There's a way to make stew. And the reason why I want to learn how to make it is because we can actually infuse it with medicinal uh, leaves and everything. And it's supposed to work better than using ordinary leaves. So we're going to focus on doing that right now. Uh, I, I really want to utilize my daylight. So let's go explore, see if we can find some Malernia. I really need to find it. It's got uh, yellow flowers on it. And if we can get that, we can make bandages. And obviously bandages are going to be... Oh, this always scares me. Oh, my God. Uh, bandages are going to be extremely important. Oh, we got a coconut over here. Now, I remember there was a snake somewhere... Over here. Oh, there he is right there. You see that little jerk? I'm not going to take the snake because I've been doing a lot of research in this game and snake meat actually lowers your insanity or maybe it doesn't affect it at all. But obviously, I do not want to... I don't need to eat the guy, so I'll just let him chill there and we'll just have to be careful of him. So we're looking for yellow flowers. These are unfortunately not it. These uh, colorful flowers are everywhere. Uh, I wish this was the yellow flower we needed. You know what? Just in case... I think this is going to waste my axe. Yeah, I don't have too much of my axe left, so let's not do that. I'm almost certain that is not the yellow flower that we need. We're going to need to find that thing. I don't want to get too lost because it's already going to be dark out. And being dark in a game like this is pretty freaky. Now, I did do some research because the yellow leaves are so... Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! Uh, 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 um, uh, what the heck is... It? It's got to... Oh, <gasps> Oh, I don't want to do this. Yep. Okay, this is a bad idea. I think... You know what? I'm just going to let you go. Ah! Oh, my God. It's chasing me. Holy crap. Oh, snakes are hitting me. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. I got an arrow in his face. Why did I decide to do this? No. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Goddamn tigers eating my face off. Are you serious? Oh, this is frustrating. Ah, uh, so long story short... You can reload saves in this game, and I think I'm going to do that. As much as some people hate when people do that, this is an extremely hardcore game, guys. So I'm just going to do my best to survive the best I can. And uh, wow, this thing, I, mean, I might just actually use these because that lasted so much longer. Now, what I'm going to do right now is make my obsidian spear. I'm sick of feeling vulnerable. I'm going to always feel vulnerable in this game. But, yeah, we saw a tiger. Now I know there's uh, tigers really close to our base, so we're going to try and save ourselves to the best of our ability. Now, that should be, yes, the obsidian spear. This is the best weapon you can have in the game for close-range combat. It's got distance to it, and uh, it should last a little bit. I wonder why the durability is only 25% when you first make it. I wonder if you have to increase your skill of making these things. Anyways, like we were doing before, I'm going to head back out and really look for Malernia. I need to find this, guys, because, well, it's only going to get harder. The, the, the more we lose our sanity, the crazier this game gets. So, uh, we know kind of where that tiger was. I don't know if they stay in the same location, but uh, I do not want to risk it. Uh, actually, we should probably... I dropped all my stones off, of course. Oh, hey, look, the coconut's back. Can we actually... Oh... Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, so we can use this to actually cut the coconuts. So what I'm actually going to do is just use this to chop things down. This would be actually even better for things like bushes. I don't remember this being here. I thought it would be. Is Well, this isn't Malernia, but what? this is that other stuff that I need, right? Wait, there's nothing? What is that, like a poppy? Unknown bulb? What the hell is this thing? Okay, well, we're going to take that. I think that came off of from the thing I just hit. So there we go. At least we're finding some stuff. I really, really would feel comfortable if we had a bandage, though. The be benefit being the more coconuts we have, the more, the more water we get. And that actually reminds me, uh, I think we can turn this into, like, a, a canteen if we go to craft. And do, I, we might have to drink it first. You know what? Let's actually just drink it because I'm assuming that's what's going to need to happen. 
So now that it's empty, we don't break it apart, don't harvest it, and if we use a rope on it, yeah, we have a coconut bidden, which is basically, from what I understand, a canteen. So now we can store water and venture out if we do need to. Nothing too crazy, but it's good to have it if we do need it. Um, oh god, that scared me. I'm, I'm so scared to move now because we know there's tigers around, guys, so that's not very fun. Well, it's better than nothing. We got, uh, I think this is tobacco here, right? Uh, very hard for me to remember what everyone is. I'm I'm just looking for the yellow leaves, though. Oh, this is an unknown herb. Okay, never mind. That's actually really good. Uh, so we are finding things, at least. Ooh. And I found a freaking cave. That means more obsidian, probably. Uh, what the hell was that noise? <gasps> oh! Oh, hey, little guy! Wait a second here. Get over here. Come on. Yeah! I got a scorpion! Oh, I, I was thinking there was, like, giant eight-foot spiders or something. I'm so glad I saw a scorpion there. Oh, okay. I am a little scared. This is our first, like, actual cave. We got more obsidian. Oh, there's obsidian. No, that's just more stone. Is there anything? Oh, my God. This is... I feel like there's going to be a tribes person in here or something. You know what? I'm hearing another scorpion. Don't really... Oh, shit. It's right there. Okay, you know what? The more we get, the better, probably. So, there we go. We're going to take that guy. And... Man, this is... Oh, whoa. Okay, well, clearly something lives here. Now, we can take the bone to make bone soup. Maggots can actually help with disease, so we're going to take those. Uh, definitely not going to eat that or anything, so... Hey, look at that! We found something, at least. I'm still patiently waiting for bandages, but... We're finding lots of other things that we need, at least. Okay, got some more of these, uh, like, poppy... I don't I don't know what the hell this tree is, but it made that bulb thing last time. It had to despawn. Underneath it was a bulb, though, so we wait for it to despawn here and see if another one pops up. Yep, there we go, another unknown bulb. Okay, so there's no space. Uh, I hope it's not that useful, because it takes up all my freaking space, so we're not going to grab that. I am so scared to move right now, because I can't see a damn thing. I see a feather over here. Always need more arrows, so let's go grab that. Man, why is it so hard to find these little yellow flowers? And the frustrating part is, it's probably right in front of me somewhere. There's just so much on the screen that you can miss anything if you don't look close enough. All right, we need more rope. I'm starting to run out. So, at least we're getting a little collection. We haven't lost our mind. We're not sick yet. We're not insane. So, it's not like it's bad. I just really want to prepare for when bad things do happen. I'm intentionally moving very, very slow through here because I feel like we're going to hear things before we see things. And, uh, well, we heard that tiger, and if I probably would have ran right away, I don't think it would have followed. So I'm really just trying to slowly walk around. We've hit another river here, so I'm not seeing anything. So I'm just going to head back a little bit more inland, see if we can kind of find anything. I'm just basically scouring all around our base right now. Oh! <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. This has got to be it. Come on. There we go. No space in Black Pack. We're definitely going to make space in here. Does it go? It probably goes in here. We got... Freaking this unknown herb just takes up all the space. All right. We're just going to get rid of the bird feather. I know we should probably keep a lot of these things, but I really need the space right now. So tobacco... Oh, crap. The tobacco leaves are hard to move. See, this is the problem. Like, you, it's very hard to get enough space in here. Okay, so putting that down there should have given me enough space for war. Oh, thank you. That's three bandages. That is huge. What the hell? Uh, okay. Uh, I'll also take that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run back now. I'm very scared in this game. Like, moving around, I... It's, you have no idea how scary it is, because it's not even the big things that are scary. It's like the little rattlesnakes and everything. Anywhere you move in this game, you're running the risk of freaking dying. So we found a lot, though. We have another cave, an even bigger one, that probably will respawn obsidian. We should be totally good for obsidian now. Uh, if we follow these walls, it's easy to get back to our base, too. Basically, just go all the way down. So this is exciting, man. This is what I'm talking about. I think we have everything I basically need to survive now. I think I need a few more plants to address everything that can possibly happen to me. The only thing we got to really worry about now is the tribes people. Thank God they haven't found me yet. Once they do find me, though, this is going to be very, very interesting. All right, let's get back down to our safety net. I feel safe here, and that's, that's the important part of a base. 
is you have to feel safe. So there we go. Do we have any more water in these? No, it didn't rain today, so I guess that's a good thing. But uh, yeah, we did good. We got our leaves. Now, what do we need to make that? Let's actually craft those right away. I think we can also use the ash from the fire. Oh, it's just that. Perfect. We can also use the ash from the fire to increase these. So the more we, we cook, the more uh, products we're going to get that we can actually use. But there we go. We have some freaking bandages, guys. That is huge. We can also harvest this, get some more um, leaves so we can make more arrows, which is huge, as well as I think now we have enough food to actually, yeah, we got two here. So let's actually start a uh, fire. All right, we should have, yeah, we have some dry leaves here and hopefully my guy's got enough energy because this does dispel my, or use my energy as you can see. Unfortunately, oh, we got it. We just had enough energy. That would have been bad if we didn't though. So there we go, ignite it. Oh, arrows, what? Get out of there, arrow. You weirdo. All right, but now we can at least cook our macaw meat here. I don't know how to put more sticks on the fire. Can I just drag them, maybe? Oh, you can. Sick. Okay. I'm learning as we go here. So, obviously, we want to keep this fire going. And, oh, my God, this thing's cooking. Oh, what the? What the deuce? What the hell? Cooked. Okay, it's cooked. Oh, it started to rain. That's why. Okay, this is why we need to put our fire underneath something. That one's still raw, but at least we got one cooked one here. Let's actually eat that because we haven't had meat in a while. I'm hoping it was cooked enough. We'll find out really quickly. Sanity plus three. So there we go. We got some energy as well. That's good. And I think we're going to wrap up this one here, guys. That was a pretty eventful episode. We got a lot of things that we need to survive. And, well, we were attacked by a freaking tiger. So before I forget, let's save that game. And we made it to day three, guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for all your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one.